Hi, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics uh, Problem of the Week. This week, we're going to be going over some concepts that are outlined in our differential calculus textbook. But even if you have not taken that class, this is a good problem to kind of build an intuition for kind of what a derivative is and what an instantaneous rate of change is. So let's get right into it. We're given a function um, f of x equals x cubed plus k, and we have to solve for k, um, which would be impossible. But fortunately, we're also given um, an equation that um, we're given an equation of the tangent line of, at any point in the in the graph, as long as it's in quadrant one. So here I have some random arbitrary function, and this is the tangent line. So one thing to notice is that if you know the tangent line and I get the tangent line and slope of uh, the tangent line and the function itself are going to look very uh, similar at at some point, which is called local linearity. So um, and so we're going to find the derivative of the function, which is that instantaneous rate of change, or instantaneous slope, if you want to think of it that way. So using the power rule, we bring down that cube uh, and subtract 1, so the, and the constant is going to go away, which is nice because that's what we're solving for, so we don't want that in our... Um, you don't want that in our problem when we're solving for it um, explicitly. So we have f, f prime of x equals 3x squared. Um, so we know the instantaneous rate of change at any um, point in this function is equal to 3x squared. And we also know that the tangent line's equation at any point in that function is given by this formula, which I will simplify to make it look more familiar. So now we have y equals 3 quarters x. And just by inspection, we can say that the slope of the tangent line is 3 quarters. And so what we're going to do now is set the slope equal to the instantaneous rate of change of the function. Um, and that will give us, um, well, you'll see what, what, what it will give us in a minute, but that will give us um, a point. So setting the derivative equal to the slope of the tangent line gives us an x-coordinate, which, where we know um, the slope to be equal to uh, the slope of the tangent line to be equal to the slope of our function, and that's x equals one half. Uh, notice there's a square here. Uh, we're going to ignore that for two reasons, and. Uh, one of the reasons is that we're only dealing with quadrant one. Another reason is that, if you recall, the square root function looks like, um, in order for it to be a function, it has to pass the vertical line test. So it, a lot of people think that um, x equals plus or minus 2. It equals 1 half, because that's how the square root function uh, works. So yeah, um, now we're going to use this information to find out the y-coordinate at that point we, uh, where we saw this uh, derivative equal to the slope. Um, um, so yeah, we have a, our point, um, and now 
if, you, if we go back to the original problem, we have kind of three unknowns packed into that one, packed into that one uh, equation, which is f of x, x, and k. So uh, what we just did was kind of find two unknowns, which really could be anything, but the way this problem worked out, we're just left with one point. And we can easily plug in and chug, uh, chug along with this problem and solve for k. So once we, uh, once we put in x and y into this, uh, y of course being f of x, um, we have 3, three eighths equals uh, 1 over 2 cubed, which is 1 eighth, which is nice because it's a common base and we can just subtract 1 eighth from both sides and get k is equal to 1 quarter. Thank you for watching this week's Problem of the Week. Uh, if you're interested in the subject and would like to find uh, more math books, you can find them on our website at centerofmath.org. Um, also, links will be displayed here to subscribe to our YouTube channel or um, visit the playlist of all the problems of the week. Or, of course, if you're on a mobile device, they'll be found in a card up in the top corner there. Thanks again for watching.